Lesson 15. Pay attention at the meetings. So we'll listen together to our first subheading. I have my daughter here. Uh, we're going to call her Alpha Force Zero. My name's Kylie. That's what I said. Alpha Force Zero. Okay. We're going to move on now. So she's going to be assisting me with this Jehovah's Witness video. All right. Here we go. Spiritual restoration, why it matters. Let's have the reading of paragraph 9. Consider the historical perspective. Christians back in the first century enjoyed many spiritual... Okay, these kids are obviously really bored by this BS. It's uninteresting, and it's really targeted toward adults anyways. Let's continue. Blessings. Jesus and the apostles foretold that true worship would be corrupted and lost. And, of course, now these children are guilted into feeling bad for betraying God by being incapable of keeping their attention focused. My grandma lets me cut out the meetings. But we don't go to meetings anymore, do we, Alpha Force Zero? <laughs> no, we don't. We don't go to meetings anymore. So, kids, what did you learn at meeting tonight? No sleeping at the meeting. And no playing at the meeting. Good. Why should we pay attention at the meetings? Imagine if Noah didn't pay attention when Jehovah explained how to build the ark. According to Jehovah's Witness doctrine, a god is literally transmitting information into everybody's heads about a giant boat because he's going to murder an entire civilization. If God beamed a message directly into mine and everybody else's heads, I'd listen intently too. But that's not what's happening. It's boring. I'm sorry you don't like that. It's just a fact. That's not what happened, Dad. Well, this kid's on the right track. That isn't what happened. Uh, I mean, we have zero evidence for any of this. In fact, we have evidence against this. But let's move on. You are right. He paid attention, and it saved his life. Paying attention at the meetings can help save your life. At Genesis 6.22, we read, And Noah did according to all that God had commanded him. He did just so. So these parents literally just threatened these kids by telling them that if you don't listen at the meetings like Noah allegedly did, you will die. If you don't listen at meetings, you will die. That is their message. Scare tactics rarely work. Sophia still isn't listening. She's just drawing pictures of the ark. Thank you for the input, Alpha Force Zero. I appreciate that. My name is Kylie. Uh, he suggested I go to this website, joinapsp.org. So, this is his movement, I guess. This is what he's a part of. It's the Uhuru movement, and it actually means join the African People's Socialist Party. 